Hey everybody, it's Mr. Holter. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to be able to be there today. Unfortunately, um, my my back issues are uh, pretty pretty bad today, and I'm having some trouble getting around. But I didn't want to hold you guys back from having a wonderful and exciting day hyperlinking. So here we go. This is what you guys are going to be doing today, and hopefully you can hang on to this. Uh, presentation for future use um, if you ever get lost or anything else like that but so on the left hand side we've got all of our slides we're doing for our presentation now remember slide number one is supposed to be our title slide so you've got whatever your topic happens to be from the netsmarts.org website um, choosing one of those 15 topics and then coming up with five true or false questions that you are going to give your classmates. So question one, question two, question three, question four, question five. Now the important thing to remember is when we went through and made these questions, we did have an actual true and an actual false on the bottom. We typed the words. The thing about hyperlinking is that you have to have words or a picture or something to anchor the hyperlink to. So let's go back to question number one and let's just highlight the word true. So that's what we are going to make our hyperlink to. Remember, a hyperlink is a link that takes somebody somewhere or makes you go somewhere. So if you go up to Inspector and then all the way across the top to this one, to the right-hand side, you'll see that that is our hyperlink inspector. It's the blue dot with kind of the white arrow in it. Now, to make something a hyperlink, all you have to do is click the Enable as a Hyperlink. We've got a couple of different options for what you can do with it. You can make hyperlink to a slide or to a web page or to a keynote or to an email. For our presentation, we want to hyperlink it to a slide. Now, for the slide we want to go to, well, my correct answer for number one is slide number seven. So if they choose true, I want to go to that correct slide, which is number seven. Choose that one. And that's it. You've done it. Now for this one, same thing, enable as hyperlink, link to slide number eight, because that is my false for question number one. So let's close down the inspector and let's give it a try. You won't be able to see that it's a hyperlink until you're actually active in the presentation. So if you go ahead and hit play, bring your presentation up and then you have your Mickey Mouse pointer finger that comes up that tells you that is a hyperlinked word and if I click true yay it takes me there. Now remember you're gonna to have to hyperlink to get back to your questions or to go on to question two so let's just test this with my other one that I put in hit play let's see if my false worked no so remember Everywhere you go, you're going to have to add in a hyperlink. So now we have to add in our returns. So on this slide, I had a return back to question one. So this sh should have a correct and incorrect. But make sure you have to return people back to where they need to go. So if, you, if they got question one correct, you would guide them on to qu uh, question number two. If they got question number one wrong, you'd have to use that slide to guide them back to question one. So good luck today. If you guys get finished early, um, make sure you test it. I would recommend having maybe somebody next to you test it also. Also, don't put in all the hyperlinks and then test it. I would say put in maybe a couple of slides first, then hit play up in the left-hand corner and test your hyperlinks to make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Um, just be sure that next time we meet on Tuesday, we are going to start adding in pictures and some animations and builds. So be ready for that and make sure all your hyperlinking is done. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thanks.